some Japs. You talk like he was a General MacArthur. The town of Japan, that general will fight him to a standstill. Yeah, you're not kidding so long as he's got help. He'll have plenty of help because we're joining the army. Oh, no, not me. I personally like the Navy. My old man used to be water boy for Corpus Dodger. Say, listen, how are we going to join the army? None of us are old enough. Just because you can't tell a little white lie, there's no reason why the rest of us can. Borrow your father's registration. Look, I, I, I love you like you my own son. But Report at that address. We want to knock off about a million Japs. Who's we? We is us, six of us. You mean you want to enlist? Yeah, that's a gentle idea. We want to learn Yokohama to yodel the Star Spangled Banner. How old are you, son? 21. How old are the rest of you boys? 21. 21. You'll have to have proof of your age. Proof? Feel these bristles. And I just shaved this morning, too. Yeah, honest, you got to believe us. We want to fight. The Japs don't ask how old y'all when he starts dropping those bombs on you. The orders is orders. Tell that to the Marines. Okay, but you'll be sorry, kid. I told you only uh, once. I got a lot of connections with the Boy Scouts. I'll fix you. Wait a minute, you stop fighting with you. One ninety-two and a half. I lost four pounds. Oh, that's bad. Oh, they got burnt in a very severe fire. Yeah, but we admit we're 21. We got muscles and uh, red corpuscles. Football season's over. Well, you've got the right spirit, fellas, but I'm afraid you're too young to enlist. Can't say we didn't try. What I understood. Hello, Captain. Doesn't anybody want it? Oh. Have a cigar, Admiral. Right, thanks. Hey, show us a couple of uniforms, will you? What do you kids want? We want to join the Navy. You want to join the Navy? What for? You want to share the ocean with Japan. You want to do what? You want to share the ocean with Japan. What do you mean with Japan? We'll take the top and give them the bottom. Oh. I don't feel so good. I'm getting seasick already. Honey, me too. What's the matter with you guys? Did you ever smoke a cigar before? <coughs> Who's rocking this office? Come on out, not here. Come on out. Save a place for me, will you, Admiral? We'll be back in a few minutes, or maybe a few days. Out. You filthy swine. You filthy swine. You filthy swine. What do you know about that? Happy little chap, those chap. I got a good mind to report him to the alien department. 
wonder what he's at Heinbach out of the store for. I don't know. He's a good American citizen. What are we? Mice or men? Let's see. Get a little ammunition, boys. Yeah! Bruno, my aim was bad. You're blind as a bat. For a fearless front in the face of danger. Man, that's the man that went down my rear. What you boys want? We don't like you and we don't like your store. You know, gentlemen, Kino. What's the idea of chasing a good American like Heinbach out of your store? Heinbach, you no good American. He's not, huh? I suppose you're a sweet smelling lotus blossom, is that it? You get out. We'll get out. We'll tear you up in a little pieces and feed you to Chinaman for chop suey. Well, maybe he's too yellow to make good chop suey. Look out! Oh, now, wait Let a minute. Oh, yeah, look out. You get out. Go out. You. Don't run to the Hey, you Boy, the Battle of Bull Run had nothing on that. I told from Tokyo he can't do that to me. I'll murder him. Yeah, he sneaked up on us. Sure, lead on, General. Hey, wait a minute. We shouldn't do nothing like that. We don't belong to the Army or the Navy or nothing. It's open season on Jack. Yeah, but he's only one of them. Maybe we can get a bunch of them. Yeah, about 50 million of them. That's our dish. Sure, yeah. we got to remember Pearl yeah. Harbor. Anything uh -oh. wrong, boys? Oh, hi, Pop. No, nothing at all. We was just practicing war games. Any aircraft. Yeah, we're having a scavenge hunt. Everybody's got to bring something useless to the party. I'm bringing him. All right, only put that stuff back where you got it. That's vitamins for victory. Come on, put it back. Okay, but we was just trying to be patriotic. And you, Danny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. With your brother Phil in the service, making the whole neighborhood proud of him. You ought to know better than this. I told him we shouldn't. Oh, hey, only kidding. <laughs> Hiya, Nora, honey. Why, Phil, you're, you're not in uniform. Well, what's the difference? Isn't the uniform makes the man? No, but you should be proud to wear it. Oh, now look, don't tell me you're like the rest of the gals in love with a uniform. Oh, Phil, you know better than that. Ah. Ease away, sailor. There's a storm coming. Hiya, Danny. Hiya, Hi, Phil. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. How you doing? Where you hey, how come you're here? I thought you were at Annapolis. Well, you never can tell what I'm going to do. You seem to do all right with the girls. Why, uh... Hey, Danny, what's up? These hoodlums trying to lead you into trouble? Sure, we just had your darn little brother to a burlesque show. Don't worry, our skirts are clean. Yeah, clean our skirts, too. Yeah. Come on, we gotta have a conference. Hey, I gotta take a lesson. I'll see you later, Phil. Hey, Danny, tell Mom I'll see you tonight, but it may be late. Okay. Well, aren't you tired? Oh, honey, I'm sorry I can't. I've got a very important matter I've got to take care of. But I'm coming back to take you out tonight, so be prepared. It's a date. Imitations? He should learn boogie woogie, if you ask me. Boy, that is sure corn. He should learn to play a harp. A harp, he should just quit. <laughs> hours and hours, man. Right? Yeah, hours and hours. Well, professor, your shoe. Your shoe. That's your shoe. It's your shoe. Yeah, my shoe. What's the professor? What's the professor? 
Change my name to Misha. Who would Misha if you did? <laughs> professor, yes. would you play for me? Come on, Professor, play for me. I'll choose you to play. Come on, I'll choose you. No, 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 no. Come on, I'll choose you. I'll choose you. Come on, one. Just one. Choose me one. Don't tell anybody. You win. Arguing. They won't let us enlist, and that's that. Yeah, and I have my mind made up to pick off a million Japs. We can still take care of Kino. <laughs> I don't know. That thing he pulled out of that cane was no pocket knife. We'll attack him on his flank. Flank? That means you come up by his rear. That's right. That's what I said. Yeah, surprise attack. So lit, Jeff. You really do? Anybody finds out we were there tonight. Yeah, it was as dark as a top of Scuno's head. That old lady ain't got second sight. What are you guys worrying about? Who's worrying? But I'd sure feel a lot better if I knew Pop Stevens didn't see us. Yeah, if anybody's got second sight, he has. Ah, uh, the only thing that cop ever discovered was his lunchbox, and somebody once stole that. Yeah, a guy can be locked up for that. Boys, do I need glasses? Oh, oh. Hello, Pop. Uh, good evening, Mr. Stevens. Sorry to intrude, boys, but I'm taking you over to the station. What for? We didn't do nothing. We've been here all evening. Yeah, except when you were in Kino's store. Well, uh, you got a subpoena for our arrest? Well, I'm not exactly arresting you. I just want to talk to you. Come on. Oh, it's different. Bring come your on, cards, on, boys. Hey, uh, yeah, come on. on. We'll be over to the door, will you? Yeah. I don't feel like that. Huh? Honest, Mr. Stevens, we didn't kill Kino. We told you just how it happened. He was dead when we found him there. You've got to believe it. Hey, he wouldn't even believe Ripley. All right, maybe you didn't kill him, but I'll find out. Murphy, leave him locked in here for a while. Way outside in the hall. Yes, sir. Man, I'm sweating. 
sweating already. Yeah, cooled off a little. Man, that water's cold. You ever see hot water in a cooler? No, but we're in the cooler and hot water too. Hey, fellas. No kidding, we're in an awful jam. They got enough evidence pointing towards us to fry us, but good. Huh, I wonder will we smell anything like fried chicken. You know, I heard sometimes they sweat guys into saying things they never did. Eh, that's only in books. I hope. Got mighty thick bars on these windows. Stand by. Good night. Radio Tokyo. Signing off. I'm out of hole. Hello, Hello, Phil. Hi, Joe. Hello, Ted Joe. Hello, Phil. Tokyo just announced the complete destruction of Los San Francisco, Detroit, and Berlin. I mean, Boston. And the American press is afraid to release it. Democracies, they won't be here much longer. Fritz tells me you are no longer in the service. But you have been dishonored. Skip it. Where do we go to work? Soon. But we must proceed cautiously. Okay, okay. But how about some dough? Sure. Consider this a slight advance. There will be more, much more, when we have accomplished our mission. Well, this is more like it. Dough, real dough. Hey, get a load of this. Article 5. Criminal proceedings, condemnation of property. Get away there a minute. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury. Well, I guess we got our rights, huh? Sure. Well, according to that, they can't even hold us here. Well, American citizens, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's cut out of here. Hey, Moisey, open that door. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Quiet. Quiet. What's the deed? You ever read the Bill of Rights? Certainly. Know it by heart. Well, then get out of my way, O'Hara. I'm leaving. Get back. Go. Get back. I'll thank every one of you. What's the matter, boys? Do you know you're going to have a corpse to elect us to keep us here? He's not going to make a corpse out of me. That's right, Mr. Stevens. We just read the Bill of Rights, and according to that, you have no right to hold us. You're right, Danny. The police have no legal right to hold you. Are you kidding? My time's valuable. You boys are lucky. You're citizens of the United States, and you're entitled to all the protection under that Bill of Rights. That's why the police are turning you free, because I don't think we have sufficient evidence to indict you. You mean I can go? You can go. Who? It's not our place sometime. We'll have a nice third degree picnic. Oh, just a minute. I also want to point out that under that Bill of Rights, you were wrong in taking the law in your own hands, trying to punish Kino. Yeah, but he was a Jap. For your information, he was not a Jap. He was Chinese. Chinese? Oh, a little bit. What do you know? We really pulled a bone. And a good one. Well, thanks for telling us. I thought you might want to see this. Poor Kino. I feel like my own father was murdered. No use trying over spilt milk. We made a mistake, that's all. Ah, we're a bunch of sap. Well, let's quit being sap. Let's try to do something useful for a change. Yeah, you know, we ought to pay for all that stuff we busted up in Kino's store. Buy some flowers for the old lady, too. Yeah. Anybody got any dough? Not me. Hey, you got some, ain't you, Glizzy? I could open a bank account. Moolah! Get it! Moolah! Hello, Phil. Hi, honey. Ready? We'll be in a minute. Soon as I get my water. Ah, you look clean enough to frame and hang it on our jumpers. Like you hang your heart in your sleeve? Easy <laughs> Where are we going? Heaven. Movie. There are tunnels, and I know a new job, fellas. That sounds exciting. When do you have to report for duty? Oh, any time. That sounds awfully indefinite. Phil, is anything wrong? Mm-hmm. I'm too much in love with you. Come on, let's go. I've got $13.35, and it's not going to defense savings then. $10 of it is. We'll have dinner at the automat. Now, look, Nora, I'm sorry, but we're going to have a porterhouse take a ton of Defense stamps and the automat. Ah, ton of. It's defense stamps and the automat. Ah, ton of. The automat. Ah, ah, ton of. Nora, where might you be going? Hiya, Pop. Phil and I are going to make a night of it. He has a furlough. Furlough. 
You got a nerve if he told you that. Oh, now, wait a minute, Pop. Anything I got to tell Nora is my own business. I had a feeling there was something wrong. You might as well tell me, sir. Well, there's plenty of time to talk later. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. You're getting out right now. Nora's staying here. Hey, what kind of dog is that to the Navy? Navy? Here, Nora. Read that. Uh, Nora, don't pay any attention to that. You know, newspapers and how to get things mixed up. Oh, now, wait, Nora. Get out. Say, hey, Phil, what's all this hooey about? Figure it any way you want, kid. Come on, give me the lowdown. Aren't you in the Navy? No, I'm not, and I'm glad I'm out of it. Well, what do you know? So Phil turned out to be a Sabbath sewer. Why, oh, that's a lie. You know, look, he's got to have a little joke. Yeah, I'll choke him right in the pussy if he ever makes a crack like that again. Feel sorry for Nora. I'm sorry I had to blast Phil like that. What in the world had come over him? What would make him do a thing like that? You got me. It's just one of those things you can't explain. I wish you'd forget him. Don't worry. I will. That's the girl. That would be three dollars. Only three dollars for all that stuff? Sure. Okay, we'll take it. How would you like a nice strat of a serious violin? Well, I got to see it first. Oh, Martin, you got enough stuff for taking my career away. Ah, uh, you act like a mother with an only child. Well, next week I was going to play Carnegie Hall. Look at that piece of mahogany. How do you like that? It works. How much? Gives you four dollars. Four dollars? Sure. Ain't you got no compassion for the human race? We're working for a great cause. Come on, make it ten bucks. Be a nice guy. Then I give you four dollars and fifty cents on that door. So, that's enough. Let's go. Come on, grease my palm. You kids are getting a good bargain. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get bargains like a cow gives Bach beer. Hey, hi, Bach. What's that chap doing in the back room? Chap in the back room? You're making a mistake. You are seeing things. Maybe. I'm sorry. Come on. Well, so long, Santa Claus. Don't give nothing away. Hey, do cows give box beer? I don't know if this thing is strictly arbitrary. Hey, what's the monkey stuff for? I think my eyes are going screwed. I'm sure I saw a Japanese. So what? Maybe he's in there selling stuff just like us. What are you always trying to complicate matters for? He still was a skibby. No, I don't think so. Those kids saw you. It is dangerous for you to be coming here. You must be more careful this time. But father, they're only kids from around the neighborhood. They are harmless. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just brought the fellas over to tell you how sorry we are about what happened to your husband. Yeah, to give you these flowers. Thank you very much. They cost three bucks. Look what you've done. Can't you ever learn no ethics? Oh, can I help it if I'm touched? I oh, don't cry, Mrs. Kino. All right. I mean, no, too bad now. We got some money here. Thought maybe we could pay for some of those things we broke. No, no, I no take. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you gotta take it. We feel as though we owe it to your husband. He was a swell guy. Maybe you know who killed my husband, yes? Only wish we knew, Mrs. Kino. Yeah, the police will find out. The only thing the police ever found was that paycheck. Just in case we can ever help you. Just give us a high sign. We your friends. Are you Mrs. Kino? Yes. I came to pay your husband a debt I owe him. My husband, he's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was two dollars. Will you give me a receipt, please? Hey, that's 
the guy I saw in the back room at Heinbox. All right, I'll give you change. Thank you. Hey, I just want to shake hands with an honest man. Thank you. You're a man after my own heart. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, I don't like the deflection used on a boy gentleman. It's okay, he didn't mean you. Mr. Kino, was he a Chinaman? No, he was Jeff. Jeff, huh? Did you know him? No, I've never seen him before. It's a funny thing. Well, come on, fellas, we got to mosey along. Take it easy, Mrs. Kino. We'll see you later. Goodbye, Goodbye. Mrs. Kino. Goodbye, Mrs. Kino. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, Joe. Did Heinbach make that delivery? Yeah. Down in the back room. In the music box. Good. Everything is going just as we planned. We have nothing to worry about. There's much to worry about, my son. Did you get that paper? Yes, I did. to the meeting. Friday the 13th, we tried to drown O'Leary's cat. That's wrong. Hey, what the fuck in here? Hey, Miss Gold. That piece of paper. Give me that blockhead. What is it? Ain't nothing. It's just a blank piece of paper. Uh, let me see it. Hey, you know, I want to say something about putting chemicals on a piece of paper like this brings it right now. What are you talking about? You put it in coffee or milk. Who ever heard of dunking a piece of paper? Hey. Let me see that piece of paper. Yeah. Who's got a match? Well, well, so what do you think I am, an arsonist? It's a little trick I learned in college one time. Correspondence course. Yeah? Yeah, you go to college and you... Well, you learned how to write. Hey, it's waking. Look, what's it's it coming out? What? what does it say? I don't know. It looks like Glippy's right. Chinese, that's what it is. Chinese? Chinese. No, I think it's a piglet. Like. Maybe that's why the chap was so anxious to get a hold of it. Maybe that's why he made that two bucks just as a stall. Figuring comes awful slow to some guys. Keep on trying. Hey, I think that guy's a fine call. That's the smartest thing you've said yet. Boys, we're gonna pay our friend Charlie a little bit. Come on. Photo! Come on. Next Mac, brother. Oh, what am I paying you for? Hold your fire! Hey, 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 yeah, hey, you're a Chinaman. We love Chinamen. You're our friend. Sure. You fellas always make me lots of trouble. No, that's all over with. We're both on the same side. Right. First of all, do us a favor. Read this and tell us what it means. Can't read it. Well, go get your glasses. This is not Chinese. It's Japanese. You're insulting the best Chinaman that ever died. I saw it. This is not Chinese lighting. Well, maybe Kino could write that Jap lingo. That's an idea. Let's find a Jap to read it. I ain't you that brain, child. I was going to get a Frenchman. So long, Charlie. If anybody bothers you, just let us know. We'll help you out. I think I'll even send you my laundry from now on. Come on, sir. Hey, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Yeah, you're going to do it. I better go in alone. All that suey might get scared. What do we do? Good morning, Matsui. How's your health? Very good. I told you your honor for health is excellent, young man. My health is slowly depreciating and I'm very dishonorable. But I want to thank my venerable forefathers that I'm able and well to walk into your worthy tea shop on this sunny day. How am I doing? You get by. What's up to your precious sleeve? Well, there's nothing up my sleeve, but I got a lot on my mind. I feel like you'd interpret for me. Of course, if I can. Read that. Let me see it closer. Uh-uh. No ticky, no touchy. What did you get that? You just mind your business and read it, that's all. Well, are you gonna read it or not? 
Hey, wait a minute there, shorty. Not so fast. Give me that note. Give me that note. I'll tear your arm off. You know that stealing? With a note on a foot on a pillar and a bust in the head. Hey! Hey, what happened? He's done it himself. Why does this always have to happen when we're I don't around? know, but I'm cutting out now. Hey, what's the idea of crashing in here like this? We gotta talk to you, Mr. Stevens. Well, all right, but make it snappy. What is it? Somebody else murdered? Suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we know. Quiet. Oh, 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 it's old man Matsui in a tea shop down by the river. And we didn't do it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Start at the beginning. If you ask me, it all ties in slick as anything with a big spy ring that's operating around here. Oh, you think so? I'm sure of it. Hey, Mark, tell about that Japanese. Will you shut back. your big mud? Now, first of all, we went behind back, see? Don't take it so hard, Joe. Hey, Joe, I... What's the matter? Anything wrong? My father just committed Harry Terry. Oh. What could make him do a thing like that? I don't know. I wish I knew. We'd better start being more careful from here on in. You know, those cops aren't dummies. I'll know how to take care of them. And then, all of a sudden, the old chap pulls out a pig sticker and gets himself the works. Sure he was dead. Dead as our friend Kino, if not dead. No job. By the way, how come everybody took old Kino for a chap when he was Chinese? Well, maybe he was acting as a spy for his country. You guessed it, Danny. I think I'll pay a visit to that tea house. Oh, oh now we're going to a tea house. Let's go. Should I stay here, maybe? Hey, Phil! Hey, I gotta talk to you. Is he going to a fire or coming from one? No, he's he's like that. He's always rushing someplace. Come on. Is there something I can do for you? Hey, you're not alive. I beg your pardon. I'm very much alive. Were these boys in here a little while ago? I believe they were. You believe we was? I saw you with my own eyes. You stabbed yourself to death. Wait a minute. Did you have any trouble with him? Possible. Nothing serious, though. This boy was just playful. If that was play, give me work the rest of my days. I'm telling you, Poppy was dead as a doornail. So Pop takes his word against Oz. It's a pretty good trick if you can do it. The next time you kids take me on a wild goose chase, I'm going to turn you over my knee and spank you. Every one of you. Well, what do you think of that? It looks mighty wacky to me. Maybe he's done it with mirrors. There's something wrong. Could oh, be. please, fellas, my head is. You were right, Tojo. A policeman came. He didn't suspect? No. My poor honorable father. He felt that I had disgraced him. You go watch the store. All right. I still think we're wasting our time. Just the same, I'm going to take another look. Hey, Shorty, where's Matsui? Oh, he's not here. We were just talking to him a few minutes ago. Where'd he go? Oh, Mr. Matsui, go out read a bit. He made a business. Business, huh? There's some mighty funny business going on around here. Ah, forget it, will you, fellas? Who are you? I'm Mr. Matsui's father of a cousin. Oh, uh, yeah? You're Matsui's cousin like I got a hole in my head. Come on, tell us where he went and we'll let you off easy. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Maybe so, but I think you're lying. You're a very brave young fellow with all your friends here. Yeah, go ahead, step outside, fellas. I want to take care of this. Oh, no, I don't want to fight. No, not unless you got ten to one on your side. Maybe we'd better go before I lose my temper and beat his head in. Come on, don't forget to keep your rice dry. Something smells. Yeah, and it ain't cherry blossoms. Whatever it is, we're gonna find out. Yes, or JG, huh? Junior G man. Hey, now there's an idea. They won't let us enlist, so maybe we can help out like that. The way I see it, there's a big spy ring operating around here, and we gotta put the finger on it. Hey, fellas, look what I... Well, it's gonna be the grabber. If that's tea in a ditch, it might be poison. Look, in the first place, it's not tea. The second place I didn't steal it, I got out of my ex violin case. Let me see it. Looks like some kind of sugar. Oh, a sugar hoarder. Let's report them. Don't taste like sugar. It binds. Hey, maybe that's some kind of evidence. Must be. Or else you wouldn't carry it around in my violin case. I think we ought to shadow this place. It's a swell idea. 
Bruno, you're appointed. Oh, Nix, I might be a junior G, but I'm also an SBB. What is an SBB? A scared black boy. Well, nevertheless, you're appointed, and you're going to stay undercover and guard this place. If anything happens that don't look kosher, you inform us. If anything happens, I'll inform me first. You're angry with me, honey. I'm not angry, just disappointed. Oh, Nora. Look, we've both been raised in this neighborhood, and if anybody knows me, you should. And trust you as a child, trust his father. Be yourself, Phil. We're grown up. All I want to know is, is it true or isn't it? Well, I have got some Jap friends, if that's what you're worried about. And maybe I did shoot my mouth off a little. Maybe you got paid for it, too. No wonder you insisted on Sarno to eat a big shot. Maybe I spent my money on the wrong girl. All right. Maybe I am a jack spy. So what? You were kidding about being a spy, weren't you, Phil? Look, Danny, for the last time, I'm telling you to keep your nose out of my business. Come on, give me the lowdown. I'll give you a slap on the puss if you don't lay off. By the way, what were you guys doing snooping around Matsui's? What were you doing there? I was buying the old lady some tea. Mom, don't drink tea. Well, I, I can buy some tea for myself, can't I? You're lying. Shut up. You're nothing but a two-time and double cross. Look, Danny, I'm sorry. I'll let that be a warning to you. Hey, don't feel bad, kid. If your brother wants to be a stool, you can't do nothing about it. He must have gone nuts. Phil ain't like that. He used to say the Navy was the best job in the world. Yeah, but maybe his new job pays more dough. Take it easy. Tell you we're awfully sorry about what happened. Oh, forget it. It's the way of life, I guess. Say, Nora, there's a little something we want to ask you to do for us. Sure, what is it? We've been doing a little snooping on our own, and we think we got a clue. What's that? It's just a little something that we think might be important. Yeah, we took it to Charlie the Chinaman. He said it was Jap writing. It's too bad my brother isn't here. Did you try to get him at the office? Uh, he don't pay no attention to us. I knew a Jap I used to go to high school with. I'd be glad to get it translated for you. Oh, that's swell. Well, listen now, take good care of this and don't let nobody get it away from you. Yeah. Because you never can tell. And as soon as you find out what it is, just tell Danny and he'll let us know. You bet. Take it easy. Hey, let's go to your place and get some chow. You'll never take me to your house for chow. Right, you got a little bowl of chow there between friends? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we beat the beef chow. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, my. That's so awesome. Uh, Hiya, Ma. How about some chow? Me and my friends are hungry. Your friends are always hungry. They have homes, haven't they? Slightly, but we're working on a big case and we want to break up right now. Come on, will you? All right, there's some stew on the stove. Help yourself. Get some plates and get some knives and forks. Looks like some kind of sand or powder or something. Here's your plate. Help yourself. Oh, I want to eat, huh? Oh, yeah, William, I'm getting hungry. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, give me Thanks some, will you? Oh, what a time. Where the floor? This what stuff can wait for a while. I'm going to eat first. Give me that, bud. It's enough for a first try. What's this, bargain? Or no rooney? You got some bread? Water? Where is everything? How do you wait I'm on the table? Why are you walking on the table? You got sugar, you ain't got no coffee. What's the matter with you? Right. Right. Oh, boy. This is the best food in the world. Yeah, that's that's really right. You want to get your bread? Sabotage! Oh, no! 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 Oh,
feeding a lot of heathens. But, Mara, it was an accident. An accident, was it? I think you're working for the dictator. Hey, you you hold me. Oh, you me. You me. You me. You me. Get out of here. Hey, where'd you kids get that magnesium? We snitched it from Matsui's store. Yeah, that chap must have brought it there from Heinbach's. Heinbach's? Yeah, Muck's all on my violin. Later on, Glippy's looking around to find that stuff stowed away in his old violin case. Well, that makes Heinbach's the distributing point for the magnesium. Maybe Kino knew that. Maybe that's why he threw Heinbach out of his store. Possible. Looks like sabotage. See you kids later. So long. Well, that was a swell dinner, Glimpy. We'll be back again tomorrow. Oh, and look, fellas, don't mind my mother. She gets nervous over nothing. We'll bring you some aspirin. Take it easy. So long, Glimpy. Hey, fellas, wait for me. She said you can't come back no more. Stevens, this is a pleasant surprise. Hello, Joe. You're looking well, and pretty as ever. Same old flattery, eh? May I say you some tea? No, sir. But I wonder if you do me a favor. Of course, I'd be very glad to. I think this is Japanese writing, and I'd like to have you translate. Pleasure. It's some sort of a memorandum to buy some goods. Are you sure? I rather thought it was important. What made you think that? Why, I don't know. I, I just had an idea. I, uh, I found it on the street. Just where did you get this? Let go of me. Take your hands off me. She knows too much. We better lock her up. Let go. Let go of me. Let me go. I tell you. Help me. Get me out of here. Help. Get away. Help. Get me out of here. Help. Paper is dynamite. Yeah? What's written Enough to send us a V for a long time. Pretty oh. soon. You'll hear about it tonight. Be calling a meeting. like them skibbies want a little privacy. Yeah, maybe we ought to get pop. What do you mean, get pop? We've been doing all right at the sea tech business so far. We ain't gonna quit now. Yeah, how are we gonna get in there? You leave that to me.
No, it looks pretty tough to me. Yeah, yeah. that is high, isn't it? Hey, I was going to get up there. Hey, I thought the same thing at the same time. Look, look. Yeah, that's really tight. That's really tight. Okay, I'll give you a You get off his shoulders and see how it feels. Anybody got a candle? I don't know. Got some matches. Might have some. What kind of a place is that? Oh! Oh! Hey! What is that? We oh, oh, really put our foot in it. I don't know why we came here in the first place. Hey, hey Clippy! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Clippy! Hey, Danny! Hey! Hey! Where's Mux? Where's Mux? Must be my liver. Oh. Uh, it's just one of those modernistic doors. Oh, that's We can't be no worse off than we are now. Go on, Spoonie. Lead the way. Man, I'm too here for that job. I'll go on. I'll give you my load of dice. What are all the sandals on? Yeah. Solid, old man. Oh, look out for them. Oh, I ain't going down there for this stuff. Not even for the dice. Not even for fried chicken. Oh, well. Who's shoving? I think I'll be after you. You go for me. Awful dark yeah. down here. Do you want to Shh. Oh, you kids are scared. Shh. Are you kidding? I'll see you later. Come on, come on, you're right behind me. What's down there? Oh, crap! Get him up, will you? Fast, yeah. Man, this ain't no house. This is a ghost trap. Whatever it is, I don't like it. Man, that bathtub must be in China. We're not jiving, Jack. I ain't kidding either. Look out. Get out of here. Hey, where is this secret? Right down there. Right down there. Is that, please? Just those cats, please. What's matter with you? You want to tip us off?
looks like a masquerade party. Nobody invited me, so I'm going home. Jimmy! You don't have to be invited. Didn't you ever crash a party? What do you think this is, Bosch? If I don't come back soon, send in a searching party. I'll go get him. We'll go with you. for a while. Tie him up quick. Tie his legs. He's out for good. Drag him behind that screen when you get through. Try that, Huey. Come on, hurry up. Drag get him his behind hand. screen. Go ahead. I got his Drag hand. him back there. Get him, get him back the here. Go on, put him back. Pull him back. <laughs> Tie that up. Maybe they're just a bunch of actors rehearsing a play or something. Nah, I think it's Japanese Halloween. Well, let's take a look at these gowns anyway. Might be. Oh, beautiful piece of goods. Uh, two pair of pants come with these, I wonder? I'm gonna put one on, too. Hey, Luno. Yeah? Your uncle. Huh? Your uncle. Uh, boy, what a healthy set of chops uncle's got today, huh? Hey, those fellas is wearing hoods. I wonder where they keep them. There they are right there. Hey, get those hoods. Hurry up. Each one of you put one of these on. We'll become incognito, see? Now we can play trick or treat. Now listen, we go in that place just like we belong. Just like we was invited. We sit down, we don't say a word. And maybe we'll find out what's going on. Woo! Follow the leader, boys. Wonder where they're going. You'll throw that in a minute. Yo, one rising sun that's not gonna rise. Most noble and honorable son of the rising sun and friend, you are here to take the final oath, dedicating yourself, your life, if necessary, to the secret work of sabotage. Hey, Mark, some guy I don't recognize us. Give me the once over. Hey, you saw his face before. Hey, do you think he recognizes us? Emperor Hero Hito. Listen well, if there are any among you who tremble, who fearful to go forward to peril, let them withdraw now, for there will be no turning back later. Only torture, that's what traitors, and for weaklings. I'm the weakling. Let's get out of here. We are Why? confronted with a get us all killed? This paper proves it. We must strike within 24 hours, or doom is sealed. We must at once strangle a common enemy. Who assume a rightful position as leader of this world? It is our heritage, our destiny. Exalted members of the Black Dragon Society. I am with a the I'm up here. I told you. Yeah, I'd like to give my heckle with a mowing machine. We will ruin the dam. We have our enemies under our control. Things is really getting complicated. 
He's in on this, oh. too, huh? He's in on everything. He got my violin, didn't he? Before proceeding, I shall permit you to see an extorted face of our benefactor to us. One who has provided us with invaluable information. A brother by the token of our blood oath. Why the drink? We are proud to bow to a man that's valuable on our behalf. You can't do nothing about it now. You will now each take the blood oath of fidelity. Hey, you guys see what my eyes see? I just a little blood. Yeah, but I'm anemic. You tell him that. Okay. Well, I get to him, I'll tell him. I hope it's as easy to get out of this place as it was to get in. I'm beginning to worry. There are spies among us. Everyone, remove his hood. And my mamma told me to be in the bed at 9 o'clock. The curfew rang for us when Muggs got the idea of coming here. You gotta get a bad idea once in a while. It's a law of averages. See so fast. Now if I see you What do you want, anyway? Uncle Sam's, you chump. Uh-oh. There goes little Red Riding Hood, a beautiful piece of Harry... You mean Harry Carey? He committed suicide. I don't know how you kids got in here, but I'm sure glad you did. Look, Danny, you try and get out of here and get the police. I'm gonna get Nora. Nora? Sure, they've got her locked up. Now, go on. Right. Come on. The crumpets right on the floor. <laughs> the winner, new champion. Is that wedding bells I hear? <laughs> Hooray! Ah, 
Oh, honey, we won't be able to go on a honeymoon. I've got orders to report for duty immediately. Oh. Take care of her, Pop. Come on, Dave. So long, Bill. I don't feel bad. We'll take you on your honeymoon. Come on, let's go. See you in Tokyo, Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jack, let's go. 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 Let